Hello, uh, this is just a quick video tutorial on something I keep getting asked about on Twitter mostly, um, which is just drawing debug lines in the editor in Unreal. Uh, a lot of people have been having trouble with this and I do it all the time. This example is my patrol routes for my stealth game. These dudes will walk uh, along these routes and it's helpful to be able to visualize them in the editor with debug lines. So here's how you do it. This is a empty UE4 project, or well, almost empty. Um, I'm going to go to Content Browser and create a new actor to show you how to do this thing. New Blueprint class, actor, call it debug line actor. That was typo. And uh, I'll go ahead and place one of these guys in the map straight away. He's currently nothing, it's just an empty object. I'm going to go into the construction script. I'm going to add a variable. And I'm going to make it a vector array. Called fun times vector array. I'm going to take editable so that we can set points on it per instance of the actor uh, in the level editor. And I'm going to take show 3D widget so that we can actually edit those. This is a cool thing on vector variables and vector array variables. You can uh, just take show 3D widget and you can edit them in the editor. As seen here, I'll add an entry to the fun times vector array. And I get this little 3D widget. I can drag that around. I'll add a few points, the points that we eventually want to draw a line between. That's two points. Three points is a good number of points. Now, to actually draw lines between them. So we'll go in here, we'll drag out fun times vector array. And we'll go for each entry in fun times vector array. Draw a debug line. With the start being the location of the point. Except we need to transform this location because it's in relative space and we need it in world space. So transform location transforms from local space to world space. We'll use the actor transform as that input. Now we've got a world space location to start our debug line from. We'll put that in there. Now we want to draw lines from point to point, which means that we want to skip the final one because it has no next point to go to. So we'll just go uh, we'll get the last index of this array and if this index that we're on is that so we're on the last one we won't even do this so we'll only do that if this is false and that means we can safely get the next point on the uh, array and know that that's a real point. Uh, so we'll get the array index that we're on plus one to get the index of the next, sorry, to get the vector of the next point. Zip, zip, zip. Drag that into line end. Set our line color to something nice like pink. Make it nice and thick, like 16. And then we will set the duration to something high for now, like 90 seconds. And let's compile that and see if that works. Okay, so you can kind of see what's happening here. I'm getting the start position correctly, but I forgot to transform the location for the endpoint. So I'll just do the same thing here. And I'll clean that up a bit because Blueprint makes literal spaghetti code instead of figurative. Straight lines. You gotta have straight lines. Cool. So now we are actually correctly drawing lines in between them, but we're doing it every single time the construction script runs. Um, which is just how construction script works. Every time you uh, drag the actor or something changes in the properties of the actor, the construction script reruns. 
Uh, it's not super relevant right now, but I should say that you can set a particular class to not run construction script on drag. So that's actually really useful if you're doing something really complicated in the construction script. Uh, it won't run it every time, every tick while you're dragging. It will only run it when you finish the drag. Like that. Still, this isn't what we want to happen. We want to delete all these old strings every, uh, sorry, all these old lines every time we do this. So all I'm going to do is chuck flush debug, flush persistent debug lines in front of all this. So before we draw our lines, we delete any other lines that anyone else did. I'll uh, turn construction script on drag back on. And there you have it. I'm drawing debug lines between any number of points, which can be extremely useful for any number of reasons. I'm just drawing in space, it's great. So there is uh, <clears throat> one major problem with this so far, which is that if I jump into the level as a dude, the debug lines probably still show up. Curiously enough, they don't seem to have done. I'm not sure why that is. It's possible that I have something else in this level that's flushing debug strings. Um, <clears throat> So that's unexpected, but in any case, uh, what you would usually want to do is check in a construction script whether the game state is valid. Get game state and do is valid on that. So this is kind of just a roundabout way of checking whether you're playing the game or just in the editor. If game state is valid in every normal situation, that means you're running the game. In multiplayer, uh, game state should be valid for every client because everybody gets a copy of the game state. Um, but in the editor, there's no game running, so there is no game state. So we only want to run this construction script if the game state is not valid. Yeah, I'm definitely doing some weird thing in this map to flush those strings, those uh, lines, sorry. Anyway, so that's pretty much what you want. You want to fl uh, get your game state. If it's not valid, that's the only time you want to do the thing. You flush the debug lines that might already have been drawn. You iterate through an array of locations or whatever and draw lines between them. Or you, you, know, you draw your lines however you want. Main thing is check the game state and flush the debug lines. Um, there is sort of a downside to how I do this. If I drag out another one of these, only one of them is ever drawing debug lines at the same time. Um, this hasn't been a problem for me with my patroller routes and whatever, it's actually what I want. I only want the selected thing to, uh, to draw lines. But I can definitely see plenty of times when you'd want to not do that, so debug lines aren't great for that. Uh, ideally, there'd be a function that you could use to only flush particular debug lines, but I don't think debug lines work like that. Um, if there's, you know, some kind of flush debug lines drawn by this actor or something, that would be ideal. But there's not. Anyway, so that's how you do the thing. Hopefully this has been helpful to the few of you on Twitter who are wondering how to do the thing. Uh, buy my game when it comes out. Laters. <coughs>